Hello dear friends and welcome to the Daily Visual Bible. I'm Robbie Yates. It's good to see that some of you are actually watching these videos and I thank you for taking the time to do that. I feel that in these modern times people just don't take the time out to listen and reflect on God's word. I was recently blessed in the fact that I was able to find on eBay a church shelter and hymn book from 1864 selling for less than £10 and it helped me to realise how much times have changed in a relatively short space of history. In fact, I would just like to read some of what it says about the Bible. So I hope you enjoy this small piece. O oh, Heavenly Father, Thine eye is upon me now. Keep me from all wandering thoughts while I am in Thy house of prayer. Help me to worship Thee in spirit, and bless to me what I shall hear of Thy holy word. For Christ my Saviour's sake. Amen. Remembering that this was written to be said at the beginning of a church service, it is amazing how true it is of us today, as it was when it was written nearly 150 years ago. Too often, people allow their minds to wander, and just listen to what God has to say for his word, so that we may be blessed by it. Please be sure to check out the website at www.dailyvisualbible.co.uk I seem to be adding new stuff to that site all the time, and I hope that as well as honouring God, it's something of interest to you as well. Now let's do the right thing and open God's word of prayer. Lord, I ask that as I read your word, you reveal something new to me. I also ask that as people see and hear your word, they will come to a better understanding of you. Amen. Exodus chapter 39 Of the blue, purple and scarlet, they made finely worked garments for ministering in the holy place and made the holy garments of Aaron, as Yahweh commanded Moses. He made the ephod of gold, blue, purple, scarlet, and fine twined linen. They beat the gold into thin plates, and cut it into wires, to work it in the blue, in the purple, in the scarlet, and in the fine linen, the work of the skillful workmen. They made shoulder straps for it joined together, at the two ends it was joined together. The skillfully woven band that was on it, of which the fastener on was of the same piece like its work of gold, of blue, purple, scarlet, and fine twined linen, as Yahweh commanded Moses. The worked onyx stones enclosed in sets of gold engraved with the engravings of a signet according to the names of the children of Israel. He put them on the shoulder straps of the ephod to be stones of memorial for the children of Israel, as Yahweh commanded Moses. He made the breastplate, the work of a skillful workman, now the work of the ephod, of gold, of blue, purple, scarlet, and fine twined linen. It was square. They made the breastplate double. Its length was a span, and its width a span, being double. He set it in four rows of stones. A row of ruby, topaz, and beryl was the first row, and the second row a turquoise, a sapphire, and an emerald, and the third row a jacinth, an agate, and an amethyst, and a fourth foot row, a chrysolite, an onyx, and a jasper. They were enclosed in gold settings. The stones were according to the names of the children of Israel, twelve according to their names, like the engravings of a signet, everyone according to his name, for the twelve tribes. They made on the breastplate chains like cords, of braided work of pure gold. They made two sessions of gold, and two gold rings, and put the two gold rings on the two ends of the breastplate. They put the two braided chains of gold, and the two rings at the ends of the breastplate. The other two ends of two braided chains they put on the two settings, and put them on the shoulder straps of the ephod in its front. They made two rings of gold, and brought them on the two ends of the breastplate, on its edge, which was towards the side of the ephod inward. They made two rings of gold, and put them on the two shoulder straps of the ephod underneath, and its front closed by its coupling, above the skillfully woven band of the ephod. They bound the best plate by its rings to the rings of the ephod with a lace of blue, that it might be on the skillfully woven band of the ephod, and that the best plate might not come loose from the ephod, as Yahweh commanded to Moses. He made the robe of the ephod of woven work, all of blue. The opening of the robe in the middle of it was like the opening of a coat of mail, 
with a binding around its opening that it should not be torn. It made on the skirts of the robe pomegranates of blue, purple, scarlet and twined linen. It made bells of pure gold and put the bells between the pomegranates around the skirts of the robe between the pomegranates. A bell and a pomegranate, a bell and a pomegranate, on the skirts of the robe to minister in, as Yahweh commanded Moses. They made the coats of fine linen, of woven work of iron, and for his sons, and turban of fine linen, and linen headbands of fine linen, and the linen breeches of fine twined linen, and the shach of fine twined linen, and blue and purple and scarlet, the work of an embroidery as Yahweh commanded Moses. They made the plate of the holy crown of pure gold, and wrote on it a writing, like the engravings of a signet, holy to Yahweh. They tied it to a lace of blue, to fasten it on the turban above, as Yahweh commanded Moses. Thus so all the work of the tabernacle, the tent of the meeting was finished. The children of Israel did, according to all that Yahweh commanded Moses, so they did. They brought the tabernacle to Moses. The tent with all its furniture, its clasps, its boards, its bars, its pillows, its sockets, and covering of ramskins dyed red, covering of sea cow ties, the veil of the screen, the ark of the testimony with its poles, the mercy seat, the table, all its vessels, the showbread, the pure lampstand, and its lamps, even the lamps to be set in order, all its vessels, the oil for the light, the golden altar, the anointing gold, the sweet incense, the screen for the door of the tent, the bronze altar, its grating of brass, its poles, all its vessels, the basin and its base, the hangings of the court, its pillars, its sockets, the screen for the gate of the court, its cords, its pins, all the instruments on the surface of the tabernacle for the tent of meeting, the finely worked garments for ministering in the holy place, the holy garments for Aaron the priest, and the garments of his sons to minister in the priest's office. According to all that Yahweh commanded Moses, so the children of Israel did all the work. When they saw all the work, and behold, they had done it as Yahweh had commanded. Even so had they done it, and Moses blessed them.